All right, from the previous video, we talked about uh, a factor that affects the rate of an SN2 reaction, which is um, a steric hindrance, right? It block uh, the backside attack by slow down um, the, SN, uh, the, the new profile. Now, another factor that really affects the rate of reaction is the living group ability, okay? So think about this though, when, um, when you draw an SN2 reaction mechanism, um, so you draw the curved arrow from the nuclear file to an electrophile, you do backside attack, and then the living group leaves uh, an alkyl halide, correct? Um, imagine if the living group doesn't want to leave, it stays there. Well, in that case, the reaction can't happen, right? If the living group um, leaves the, the alkyl halide slowly, the SN2 goes slow. If the living group, on the other hand, leaves the alkyl halide fast, quickly, the reaction go fast, right? So the living group ability play a big role uh, for um, um, the, the rate of an SN2 reaction. Let me show you right here. And how do you know who lives fast, who lives slow, okay? Uh, all right, I bet that you have seen it before. This is just a regular acid-based reaction. We have hydroiodic acid, bromic acid, chloric acid, and hydrofluoric acid. And you know that from according to the PKA table, um, the top three are strong, very strong acid. And hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. All right. Now, if you look at look at bit, uh, this pKa or acidity uh, of this acid, it kind of tell you how willingly this iodide bromide chloride fluoride um, want to leave the proton. Does it make sense? So, hydroiodic acid dissociate, uh, become proton and iodide. So, iodide actually leave the proton. Bromine leave. Um, Hydrogen, chlorine leaves, uh, fluorine leaves, right? So you can see fluorine doesn't want to leave. It really is a weak acid there, but the top three are strong. They are, uh, they can leave um, uh, the hydrogen quickly, all right? Now, guess what? With the same pKa, same acidity here, so which is ability to leave proton, it's exactly the same with the living group ability. Who live fast? It tells PKA tell you. That's the reason why I ask you to memorize PKA. There are uh, many applications on a PKA table. Okay. So if you look at right here, so I replace all the hydrogen with an alkyl groups. Basically, iodine, bromine, chlorine, fluorine about to leave the alkyl halide. Uh, uh, sorry, about to leave the alkyl groups. If I add a new chlorophyll, it just facilitates uh, this process. All right. And it, essentially, this is an SN2 reaction. Right. So my point is, Strong acid, they are good living group. Weak acid is the bad living group, right? It doesn't want to live, okay? So uh, the rate of SN2 reaction depends on um, the, PKA, uh, the PKA. If you know the PKA, it tells you who lives fast, who lives slow, all right? Now, a better living group, of course, the faster an SN2 reaction, faster rate. All right. Uh, let's uh, go back to the PKA table real quick. All right. So these guys right here, the conjugate best right here. And this guy, if you see iodide, bromide, chloride, these are very, very good living group. All right. So uh, uh, alkyl, alkyl halide is a good, really good substrate for an SN2 reaction. Another, um, you have seen maybe like one time before, a toxic group. All right. So OTS right here. This O right here, that's oxygen. And we have S and three oxygen here. That's a uh, Toisil, toisilate, TS group. The whole thing we call toisilate. All right, these are a good living group as well. So it looks like uh, sulfuric acid right there. Looks just like sulfuric acid. Okay. And uh, down here, these are um, poor living group. Is it, they, they don't they don't really want to live, right? You 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 don't really see this guy live uh, quite a lot. All right. So we have uh, acetate. Uh, ammonia doesn't really want to leave. Um, the special hydroxide, if you remember the phenol, this is uh, phenolic, uh, phenoxide, not really want to leave. Um, uh, hydroxide is really, really bad living group on all the alcohol stuff down here, all right? And down here, this is the worst living group. Like, do you never seen uh, like an amine group, a hydrogen, uh, an alkene, alkyne, alkyne, leave an, uh, an alkyl group. You never seen this, okay? All right, all right. <clears throat> Concept test real quick. Is an OH group a good or a bad living group? I, I, I mentioned before from the previous slide, but think about in terms of the pKa. What's the pKa of water? pKa of water is 16, 15.7 15 to be more uh, specific, right? 15.7 is the worst one compared to uh, hydrofluorine, uh, hydrofluoric acid is already bad. This guy is the worst. 
<laughs> right? So um, the a good or excellent living group gonna have PKA negative number right there. Okay, these are good living group. If you say a positive number, that's a bad, right? That's a, that's a bad, bad one. Okay, so an OS, you never seen an alcohol leave, for example, I have a nucleophile, attack an electrophile, and an alcohol leave to a hydroxide. Hydroxide is highly unstable. It's an ammonia leave, right? The stable one like iodide is a big structure. If you say, remember the Oreo, right? Bromide, chloride, this guy are big, negative charge, really stable there. Um, so they we want to uh, to leave the molecules. That fluoride, hydroxide, small, not really. They don't want to leave, right? Use PKA, uh, PKA, uh, sorry, PKA value. Uh, it will tell you who's a good, who's a bad living group. Okay. All right. Next.